Hey, what's up everybody? And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do Guile's most difficult combos using a hitbox or leverless style controller. Uh, two quick disclaimers before we start. Disclaimer number one is that I am using the Capcom Cup approved SOCD inputs for all of these combos. So what that basically means is if you push down and jump at the same time, it's going to give you a neutral input and not a jump input. So if you want to copy the way I'm doing these combos, like in this video, make sure you have those settings on your leverless controller. Uh, number two, I am using a standard hitbox here, but as you can tell, the buttons are a little bit different. These are gamer finger buttons that I bought a couple months ago. I know right now they're really hard to get your hands on, but I really love these buttons. I think they're fantastic, and I just want to say, if you ever get a chance to buy them, if they're in stock wherever you live, uh, I highly suggest it because I think these buttons are fantastic. Now, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So the first combo that we're going to look at today is Guile's basic light BNB, any light jabs into standing light kick. So this one can be a little bit tricky in, at first, but the more you practice it, the easier it actually gets. There are two tricks with this. So number one, you have to make sure that you have your flash kick charged enough. And then number two is the standing light kick is a little bit delayed. So the lights are jabbed, like they're chained really quickly, but the light kick you have to delay it a little bit. So the first thing I recommend practicing is just getting this, the, just getting the feel for this combo. So what you should do is just crouch for a little while, you need about 40 frames to charge your flash kick, and then quickly do standing leg kick into jump plus any kick you want. Hard kick is probably your best one for combos. So again, it's a really quick motion. If you hear the way I'm doing it with my fingers, it's like pop up. Once you've got that down, you're gonna wanna go into the jab, jab, standing leg kick, flash kick. There you go. A little trick, you'll know if you messed it up because that just means your charging was bad if you mess it up like that. So you just want to practice this over and over again until it gets easy. I like to go in the corner so I don't have to walk forward at all and then just, you know, practice it a bunch of times. So just like that. So you're also going to want to practice that because that's a great way to get extra damage off of lights when you have 3 gauge. Alright, so the next thing we're going to look at is his uh, standing medium punch back hard punch target combo and it looks like this. So with this target combo, when you charge, you can end in flash kick. Just like that. The window to cancel into your flash kick is actually a lot later than it looks. So what I recommend is just practice delaying this as much as you possibly can and getting it. You want to go back to down back as fast as you can after doing a standing medium punch. Like that, that's the timing you want. Now with the Capcom approved SOCD cleaning tools, there is one thing you can do. If you remember I said down plus jump, sorry down plus jump is going to give you neutral, right? So you can hold down back, tap, standing medium punch plus jump and it'll give you a standing medium punch which will give you a great way to charge really quickly during this combo, it's super helpful. So my recommendation is if you find the standing medium punch going back to down back into back hard punch really tricky and you can't get it consistently, try out the SOCD medium punch plus jump way. I personally find that way much, much easier, so maybe you will too, you can give that a try. Then of course from that, you can always go into the level one and then with a flash kick. This can be great if you ever get something like this. Use quite a bit of drive bar, but it's really helpful if you ever get a nice shimmy attempt, or if you get a whiff punish and you buffer in the standing medium punch drive rush. Super helpful. Next thing we're gonna look at is actually a punish counter combo. So let's just turn on punish counter. And this tool is really great because you get a nice crumple on punish counter. However, if you do it from the tip range, you can't drive rush, there's no time. So what you're going to be able to do is link a level one super into this. So, so whenever you're aiming for this, you're going to push forward and you're going to hold back as quickly as you can or down back. So tap forward, then go to back and you'll get the charge and it'll come out. Practice the timing because it can be a little tricky to go from forward to back and then get the charge in time, but if you practice it a bunch of times, you'll get it. It's super helpful. So the next thing we'll look at is how to auto-correct your flash kicks. So if you look at this, I'm sure this has happened to you sometimes. You see somebody go for a cross-up, then you do your flash kick and it whiffs. So you definitely don't want that. So 
here's something we can do. It's kind of like a crosscut DP. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a little step forward in the opposite direction to where they're jumping. So take a look. It looks like this. Okay, I see the cross up attempt. So I really quickly hit forward and then I do the flash kick. And that gives me more than enough time to autocorrect. This way people won't mess up your flash kick directions. Just like that. So when you're practicing this, make sure to practice it from both sides. And it's great. The hard kick one can sometimes whiff, so I would recommend the light kick one instead. It's going to be your best bet. EX can also whiff sometimes, but it's usually pretty good. So either EX or light would be my recommendation for that. Okay, and the last thing we're going to look at is the really difficult, but not so bad, corner combo with the boom loops. This combo is really good when your opponent is in burnout and you get a nice wall splat, because that's when it's easiest to do. So in this kind of a situation, you're going to take a step forward and you're going to start like this. That's going to be the beginning part of your combo. Alright, and that's it for this video. Uh, I don't think Guile's combos are too difficult in this game, especially with a leverless hitbox style controller. I think they're actually pretty doable once you get it down you start practicing a bit. So if you're finding it difficult, just remember to take the combos really slowly, figure it out, break them into parts, and then just really make sure you spend a few minutes every time you load up this game doing your basic, you know, your basic warm-up routines and getting all your BNBs down. I think this character is really fun to play and he's great on leverless controller i think leverless is basically made for guile in this game he feels fantastic to play on this and of course if you have any questions or you're unsure of how i explain things please let me know in the comments and as always please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more videos from me in the future thank you so much everybody until next time take care